Welcome back to Film Crate Media. Today we're chasing the 2102 and the 425 doubleheader on the Reading and Northern Railroad. It's August 13th, 2022, and the running from Reading Outer Station all the way up to Jim Thorpe and back. We started on the Route 61 bridge just outside of Hamburg. After that, we're going to head up to Molino, South Tamaqua, Nesquahoning, and end our northern trip at Glenanoco. Our next stop is Miller's Crossing in Molino. Following Molino, we hit up South Tamaqua, one of the more famous spots for the original Reading Rambles. was Nesquahoning to catch him going across the last crossing before going up to the junction. About 10 minutes behind is a pair of SD50s, running a northern 5018 and 5019. 
These locomotives were serving as a rescue team in case the steam engines ever broke down. They also helped with turning the train, as you can see here in the Y, they pulled the train backwards from Jim Thorpe through the Y and back. For the return trip, we'll start at Nesquahoning Junction, then hit Tamaqua, Molino Station, and finish our day in Hamburg. At Nesquahoning Junction, we catch the gorge train on its way back to Jim Thorpe. This train is a little special this time because they have the F units leading the train. Now because these are full body locomotives, they have to shove back with the caboose for visibility reasons.
before the steam excursion left, the gorge train went out one final time. On the return trip, the diesels led about 10 minutes ahead of the steam excursion. You'll see why in a little bit. Junction in Tamaqua, we actually beat the diesels to the station.
final stop of the day for steam is Molino Station. in Port Clinton, they took 425 and 2102 off the train and put the diesels on. The SD50s led the train all the way back to Outer Station. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time here on Film Crate Media.